Hi all. Today we will see how we can create a single spa parcel using Vue.js and how we can consume that in other applications made of Angular, React and Vue. Similarly, we will also see how we can consume parcels created using Angular or React in a Vue application. So let's get started. So first we need to create a parcel using Vue. So for that I am going to make use of the create single spa. So here we can give some project name and from this we can select the single spa application or parcel and the language as view. So basically the step for creating a parcel or application made of view is exactly similar and here you can provide any organization name. Then it asks which version of view we need to use. So here I am going to make use of view 3. So once we do these steps, it starts creating the view parcel or application and also it installs all its dependencies. So using the CLI, I have created one view parcel and a view application. So the structure of these are exactly similar. Now I have modified the view parcel in such a way that the app.view file will have a simple template within which I have added the text that the parcel component with the name of the parcel. So this is an input prop which can be bound here. This name we can define in the main.js. We can export the constant name and provide the name of the parcel. In case we do not provide this, a default name will be automatically assigned. We can bind this name as a prop to our root parcel. So the root parcel is the default export here. And we have defined the props which will be passed to this particular Vue.js parcel. So we have defined a custom prop one which will be passed from the parent application. So that also we have defined it here within our main.js. So once we have done that, we need to make one more change here in the view.config.js. We added a configure webpack object with the library target as system since we are making use of system.js within our application. And also you need to give the output file name as js slash app.js. Without these two, the view parcel won't work properly. Once we have done this, we can execute the command npm run serve which will call the view cli service serve so here i am going to the view parcel and i am going to run the npm run serve so once the parcel is built it will be served on the local host port 8082 so we can add that within our root config so within the index.ejs, I have added import as at the rate app slash view parcel and I have provided the local host 8082 along with the path of the app.js. Now let us see how we can consume this view.js parcel within other applications. So first let us go to the react application and here within the root component.js we can make use of the parcel component and here within the config we can provide the system.import and name of the view parcel which we define within our import map. So I have given that app view parcel. We can also pass the custom prop one which we had defined as a props for our view parcel and here I am giving some additional option like wrap with wrap style and the color will be yellow and also I have provided the handler callback and the parcel did mount callback so that once the view parcel is mounted this will be logged in the console so now let us refresh our application so here you can see that the view parcel has been mounted and the corresponding log message is also shown here so I have already created a video showing how we can load the angular and react parcels so this is a react parcel and this is an angular parcel 
and now we have the viewports are also mounted here so similarly let's see how we can consume a view parcel within an angular application so within the angular application in the app component.html again we have added the parcel component and here we can pass the view config which is again a system import where we provide the name which we provided in the import map that is app view parcel and here again we have the mount parcel option where we pass the mount root parcel the custom props which we need to pass to our view parcel and the wrap with along with other callbacks so once we have added this parcel component when we navigate to the angular application you can see that uh, the view parcel is also mounted here along with the console message we have seen how we can consume a parcel created in Vue.js in both an angular as well as react application so now let's see how we can consume parcels created in angular react and Vue.js in a Vue.js application so i have created a view application as well using the cli now within the src we have the app view component so within the app view component i am consuming an internal component called hello world and within the hello world i am basically consuming all the other parcels so first i am consuming a parcel which is created using react then using angular and finally the parcel which we created recently using the view so the syntax for this are exactly similar within the template we can provide a parcel component within this we provide the parcel mounted where we will pass a arrow function which will execute the parcel mounted which is a method that is defined here which is basically a callback logging the console.log whether our parcel has been mounted so there is a separate callback for the react angular as well as the view parcels similarly we can pass the configuration so for each parcel created using the frameworks we have created different parcel configuration and these are defined within the data so first we have the react parcel then we have the angular parcel and finally the view parcel so all these are imported by making use of the system.import so here also we need to make the similar configuration change which we described earlier we need to add a config webpack and set the library target as system along with the file name so once all these configurations are set we can build our application so here I am going into my view application. I am serving it using the npm run serve. So our view application has been built and served. This time on the local host 8083. So again we go to our root config. And add the index, within the index.ejs we add the entry for our view application. Within the import map we have the app view app and point it to the 8083 localhost slash js slash app.js so once we have done this let's go to our application so here within our layout manager i have added a link which will go to the route slash view and within that path i have bound our view application so when we click on this particular view application link it will navigate to our view application and here within our view application you can see that the react parcel the angular parcel and finally our Vue.js parcel all have been mounted and here you can see the different callbacks executed when the parcels were mounted so hope you are able to get a good idea about how we can create parcels using Vue.js and how we can consume them in other applications and similarly 
how we can consume parcels created using other frameworks within a Vue.js application. See you soon. Thank you.